all right guys to this is specific this is specific to mules of guys okay now see there are already previous videos that i have spoken on kibana grafana elk log stash until you do not complete that please never visit this video okay because it would absolutely make no sense okay uh, you will feel like you are just moving very ahead of from your time window something like that okay right okay guys so which means i would expect that you have seen the videos and then visiting this okay now to recap from the three videos in short you have grafana you have kibana you have uh elk yeah which both of them will be listening to okay and then a log stash which is data aggregator and this time as i said in the previous videos we were kind of rolling in and out within the log stash itself acting as an application but this time we are going to send the data from mule soft okay this time i want to say okay mule mule soft okay obviously to do that you need to first develop an application on mule soft okay and then append something in the log 4j because log 4j is what it it requires everything right it, that's where you, all the logging happens so first is first let's go to the mule soft uh, sorry any point studio and then build a small application nothing here actually listening on the port 55 55 and then this is the path demo uh, followed by a dummy transformer followed by a dummy payload followed by a logger that's it payload 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 and uh, if i go back here and then set up something like <coughs> http local host 5555 demo and this should be yeah post should be fine body raw json uh name manju kaushik all right so what do we understand um application which is mule soft will generate the logs log stash will gather the logs data aggregator and then elk will index the logs and uh, grafana or kibana will point to elk and display in the graphical view again you have to watch the previous videos else this would literally makes no sense to you guys okay please uh, this is a sincere request ha huh. okay so i think i have not started grafana and other things just let me <coughs> start that one by one uh first is first elastic search let me go to elastic search here command prompt and then um okay for some reason it has not started let me open it up again here logging elastic search bin oh good so elastic search dot bat okay let it come by its own the next guy is the okay kibana we'll go with the kibana bin okay yeah it will come up guys don't worry we have already have seen so much videos on that and i think it should come up kibana and then the grafana okay somehow the the more i say kibana and grafana together it's like i feel like they am call i'm just invoking two brothers okay kibana is currently running like okay good and then we'll go to grafana ah oh, come on and uh, grafana hyphen server dot exe that's awesome and finally the log stash now before getting into log stash what do you, what did you understand from the previous videos it's like you have to create a configuration file right so that you already have known by now so created a small guy here um small config here not this one sorry yeah this guy okay and what does it read it says that okay 
remember this input output yeah output remains the same no difference okay input this time i am sending over the network sending over the network listening to the port 5051 and type of the file is json that's all this time it's over the network what did we see first use case was input was console second use case is uh, input was a file csv file right csv file the third use case was copy the file from one location to another location fourth use case is tcp okay and it has already been documented here see if you go to this elastic dot elastic uh, documentation it's clearly written over the tcp here see you need to have something like this the port the codec and the filter add a filter to take log 4j time milliseconds field and then as an event timestamp this one and that's exactly what i have done here that's it nothing much more than that okay you can just very well copy paste it that's it yeah it's, you can just very well copy paste it and then it says that hey go to your log 4j xml and make sure that you add this configuration the socket name and the appender okay so where where do you do that simple go here go to the source main resources log 4j and if you can see i have added this here socket which is local host socket name 5051 compact true and event all of this you are getting it from that documentation again if i don't know whether anyone shows that information to you but that's where kind of copy paste it okay configuration file 5051 the same as 5051 here okay and then finally at the bottom of your screen you need to attend uh, sorry append no why is it attend this guy socket which would actually point to that socket that you have just created it now once that's done <coughs> there is one more thing in the pipelines dot yaml okay it says examples of two pipeline um right so yeah uh, let let's stop here uh, there's no need to worry about it okay and there's one more thing here can you see this this time the index would be mules of demo and this is the index okay now let's go back to this guy and start popping up uh um let's see first of all whether the uh, logs uh i think log stash should not i've just not had started log stash what about the uh, grafana yeah grafana has picked up so admin admin 123 hash that's just my login uh what about the kibana i think it's 9200 is it or no this is elastic i forgot the port name One minute, guys. So let's see this nine two zero zero, yeah five six zero one. That's that's the one. Kibana, there you go. And you need to give the sub. You need to supply the username and password for that. Elastic. That's it. And uh, let's go to this data management and index. Stack management, data index management. At this moment, you have only three two. So after making a call, now we should see the third one. Let's see if this works actually. Um, local host, it's not yet deployed, is it? Okay, it's not yet deployed. Let's deploy it. Okay, I thought I would have deployed it. Okay, let it get deployed, guys. All right, all righty, guys, it's deployed. Okay, uh, that's awesome. and uh, what else yeah it's time to make a call let's call so payload is manju kaushik now automatically it should have indexed let's see um for some reason this has not been indexed um i really this guy this particular one should had been indexed um let me recheck whether i've done anything wrong um no listener for the 
available request okay it's not even logging it as well can you see this unable to even connect it saying that there's something wrong it's uh, available listeners are this one okay let me see what's the pipeline here it's 5555 I really this should have logged it uh, I'm not sure why it's logged let me hit it again let's see yeah this this time it has logged it uh, let's see is there any index that has created uh-huh there's not so something that I've missed it here give me a minute guys let me correct it and uh, resume it back thank you guys I just remembered it actually I have not even uh, supplied I have not even brought up that log force uh, uh, what do you call that that log stash right so just remember it how I have still not supplied the log 4j itself sorry not log 4j the log stash right remember from the previous videos the log see we had just kept it open but we kind of never supplied it yeah that, that that's that's where it is I think okay so yeah I don't know why I forgot that okay so let's let's go back to this bin guy and uh, log stash dot bat oh man such such a small move that I missed it. We missed it. Okay, and I missed it actually. So okay, <coughs> there you go. And let me push this and slash mulesoft demo dot c o n f. There you go. And let's see. It should pick up without any error. I hope so. Let's see. Fingers crossed. And uh, whether all of them are up and running right yet. So this is up and running, which is good. This okay something happened okay uh, let me try to reconnect it again elastic where are you okay there you go password elastic yeah so the log actually was not getting generated and can you see this pipelines are running which is good starting tcp yeah this is the thing right? now with that if you try to make a call um it should work this time I guess okay it has it is it is reading from the configuration file which is awesome there are no errors which is also awesome and here our code is also deployed which is triple awesome uh, we have sent it and you got the data and this time see there is no error of saying that um, not here I'm sorry uh, what I'm saying notice um, let's go back here and then let's see here this time whether it's been indexed or not stack management I hope oh, cool see mules of index now there's also one thing actually if there's one thing called dev tool somewhere I'd seen it um, just let me go to another window here there should be called as dev tools yeah there you go dev tools what you can do is that here you can just take that index oh, come on dismiss take that index uh, index name slash see you can actually search you know pq r s okay there you go just the index name and search and you should see something though okay uh, what do you have total is one which means I think I only sent one data and successful is also one obviously there's no failure um, what else the number of hits um, since we're anyway see this is the anyways the data Manju Kaushik that's what we have sent and what else timestamp because we're filtering by timestamp and then yeah this is this is the log mules of logging feature that's also cool anyway see let's see Let, I'm going to make another call this time I'm going to say Rahul <sighs> right okay let's see now I'm going to hit hit it and you should see okay this is still one I mean like I'm sorry this is sha I don't know what this is okay I'm not going to lie about it this year now it's two okay and if you can see here let's see hits okay now this is array array okay two arrays see when I say two array two objects object one and object two this should be Manju this should be Rahul so uh, let me see yeah this is Manju and the other one should be Rahul 
Yep. Now this is a dev tool. You can play around with that. This is the only command that I know, and hence I had to show it to you guys. Now let's go back to our data view. Uh, sorry, what I'm saying. Uh, stack management and then Kibana data views, which you already seen it. And you know what's the index name? The index name is this guy. And then create a data view. That's it. That's it. And then, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, I am not going to talk anything what's right or wrong. Okay, index indexing and then. Uh, click on this as usual discover and here select your index voila let's make another call this time I'll say mm -hmm. not here sir mm send Madi okay so refresh it see we have three data Tada. there you go and Grafana what about that why have we not spoken this okay so we have already added the elk i believe so data source okay forget about loki this this is actually giving me a nightmare all the time okay okay elk we have already added it okay that's we already seen that so this should also have oh okay guys remember this was indexing on um this there was no indexing done properly here we get we, get, we kept it a star dot star so let me see if i go back uh, oh, okay here take take this mules of demo and paste this index and this time i'm going to say something like this okay mules of okay just a name change guys i mean like nothing much more than the rest of them remains the same as it is save and test connected go back explore see here where are you seeing this one here see the data has been hit so i'll just say last should be five minutes okay cool i'll make another call so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'll see this run query okay whoa, whoa, whoa. here too much too much okay here see too many data here and obviously even here also you should be seeing too many data so oh, okay control yourself okay good now with that you have grafana kibana elk combined with this our journey should be looked at in another way around i'll tell you what our journey should be our journey is to master on kibana our journey is to master on grafana our journey should be mastering on elk and how to use these kind of tools what options do we provide how do you filter these options and since we are working on windows machine how do we take it to linux linux i've already spoken about wsl2 remember that in the previous videos just look at it and let's focus our thought process in this moment right until then i hope you had a great learning see you guys in the next video tata bye bye